Hello, my dear APTI students. Today we're going to study this uh, reading topic related to grammar and the differences between enough and too much. For instance, in this case, it says, let's go somewhere else. There are, and then it says, people here. When you are talking about uh, things in a negative way, we can say too many. Too many. I mean, the thing is that you use two when you want to talk about something which is not good. So, we can't say too much because too much is used for, um, is used for things that you can count, things that you can put an S to. So, for example, uh, sugar, you say too much sugar, but you say too many books if you want to talk about it in a negative way. Then in here, it says, he used to be a lonely kid. He had, he had few friends. He had few friends. We use few with these words that can end in plural. Few friends. Much friends, it is not possible because the word can, the word that follows match cannot end in S. And little means uh, you want to think about that as a, as a size. So a little friend would be like this friend, which is not common. We just say few friends. Let's see this one. We've had, we've had, and we have this. We've had a lot of rain recently. A lot of is not possible because you actually say... We have had lots of, but not a lots of. And a few rain, few rain, a few rain. We just want to say, we have had a lot of rain recently. Remember, it would be this one if I have an S. So, a few drops or few drops, but not, not, it is not here. It is not the case that we're talking about. Now, here, it says, there and then enough flowers in the garden. So flowers is plural. I'm going to use aren't knowing that it is not enough. There aren't enough flowers in the garden. Then here we have this exercise and it says my father is a pensioner. So he has and then free time. He has a lot of free time. We cannot say many because with many we should uh, have an S, like many times, and much time would be an expression, but not much free time. It's much better to say a lot of free time. We can also say he has much time, doesn't have much time, but in this case, the best way to fit the sentence would be he has a lot of free time. Then we have this one. How many children do you have? Do you have? I just want to say known, meaning zero. Any, I would use any if I have a complete sentence, like I don't have any children, but no, not in this case. So if I just want to say zero or nothing, I say known. A lot of is not possible. If I wanted to answer with this answer, it would be like this. How many children do you have? A lot. But no, it is not the answer choice for us to answer. And here, I think I made and then mistakes in the letter. I think I made a few mistakes. I made few mistakes is not possible because if when I talk about a small portion, a small number, I should use a few. I made a few mistakes in the letter. Much is not possible either because if I have much, the next word can't end in S. So I think I made a few mistakes in the letter. Then we have this one. There's no need to hurry. We have, and the expression is plenty of. In English, plenty of means a lot, but not plenty. It should be plenty of because after of I have a noun so I need to use the expression pl plenty of 
There's no need to hurry. We have plenty of time. Number nine. He isn't old to understand. So, he isn't old enough to understand. He isn't old much to understand. Doesn't make sense. He isn't old too many to understand. Doesn't make sense. You say good enough, old enough, big enough. That's what you say. You use enough after an adjective. Now here, we have we have much too, too much, and too many. My answer should be between these two. The thing is that work does not end in s. It cannot be many. It should be much. So the answer here is we have too much work. And... And that's all for now. I hope you understood and study hard.